Hello there, welcome back to another guitar lesson. Today we're going to be learning Tell Me Baby, a really cool, funky, poppy, melodic song from the Chili Peppers from the Stadium Arcadium album. I um, hope this lesson helps. It's not necessarily played exactly note for note the way John plays it, it's just the way I play it. I'm just teaching you and hopefully helping you to just give you a feeling for the song, a vibe for the song, and hopefully something you can really have fun with. So without any further ado, we'll get straight into it. It starts with this pattern, this chord progression that John is finger, pissing, uh, finger picking. <laughs> And if you've never done sort of finger picking before, it's a great um, way as a sort of an introductory introductory lesson um, to sort of getting used to the world of um, finger picking because this is quite simple sort of finger picking. So we'll get into it. It starts with John holding an F shape. So you're putting your third finger on the third fret of the D string, second finger on the second fret of the G string, and first finger on the first fret of the B string. So we're only concerned with the B, G, and D strings here. Okay, and use your thumb and first finger to pick the D and G strings at the same time. Okay, if you can see it, you sort of pinch them if that makes it, you sort of... Okay, so you do that and then use your second finger, use your second finger on your right hand or what, you know, your strumming hand to pick the B string. So... Now we next we move to a C shape. So you put your third finger on the third fret of the A string, second fret on the second finger on the second fret of the D string, open G string, and first finger on the first fret of the B string. Okay? So we've got a standard C chord there. And it's the same thing again. What you're doing here is you'll use your thumb and your first finger to pick the A and G strings. So we're okay at the same time so you picking them at the same time there and then use your second finger to pick the B string that you're holding down on the first fret with your first finger on the B string okay so 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 far all together we've got Next we do it with sort of the a G chord is implied and this we can play this really simply. What we're going to do is we're going to use our second finger or whatever finger is sort of best for you to fret this G note on the low E string on the third fret. All other strings remain open so you haven't got to concern yourself with any, um, any difficulty with the fretting hand there. And use your thumb and the first finger to pick the low E and G string. So the thumb picks the low E string, okay, and the first finger picks the G string which is open. that second finger again to pick the B string which is now open so okay so slowly all together what we've got so far okay now in this next in this chord progression John's going to an A minor so what we're doing here is we open A string Second finger on the second fret of the D string, third finger on the second fret of the G string, first finger on the first fret of the B string. And what we're doing here, you use your thumb. Okay, use your thumb and second finger to pick the A and B strings while you're holding down that A minor chord. And then use your second finger to pick the G string, okay? where you've got the third finger down on the second fret there, on the second, um, up at the you know, top end of the guitar. So it's all together what we're playing. Okay, and what we do, we play the same pattern again, we go through that again. So you played it once through, you go through it again. But instead of hitting in the A minor this time, instead of doing that, what we do is we strum a D minor. Okay, we just hit that once. So for a D minor, you're playing open D string, second finger on the second fret of the G string, third finger on the third fret of the B string, and first finger on the first fret of the high E. Okay? So we do, we do it through with the A. Then we play it through again, and 
hit that D minor, play it again through with the A, then you play, like I said, you go to the F, then to the C, and then you basically just land on a D, this G this G chord. Okay, that's sort of how we played earlier. So just basically play it as you did with just one finger on the low, low E string on the third fret. Okay. And that's, that is the whole intro to Tell Me Baby. So as I said, I'll go through it slowly just to make sure but I haven't gone too fast and um, there was no mistakes. I'd say watch both hands while I'm playing through. So you've got the F. And that D. Okay, and you just hit that G at the end there, and that is basically the intro to Tell Me Baby. Okay, and just have fun with that, just get used to finger picking if it's something you've not done before, hopefully that will just give you a bit of an introduction to the way the intro is played to Tell Me Baby. And next we'll move on to the verse. So regarding the verse to Tell Me Baby, it's, it's basically you're just getting used to this sort of thing that... <coughs> The Chili Peppers do quite a lot, that John does quite a lot with this. Doing a lot of that and a lot of the Chili Peppers songs. Doing that kind of thing. So what we're doing here, you really get, you really do need with doing this, you need to get used to muting the strings with your left hand here. As John is like sort of keeping the rhythm going with his right hand, he's not, he's not playing. He's not playing it um, exact, he's... You know, you've got to, he's really sort of attacking the guitar while he's playing this. So you have to get used to sort of bringing your thumb round, hooking it round onto the low, like the low strings, bringing these fingers round on the, on the upper strings and just making sure that... And making sure you're only hearing the, the strings that you want to, want to hear. So hope that might take a bit of practice if that's something you're not familiar with. But regarding what John's playing for the verse, he's playing the first finger on the G string on the 12th fret, first finger on the G string on the 14th fret, so then third finger on the D string on the 14th fret, so he's got then first finger on the G string on the 12th fret, third finger on the G string on the 14th, first finger on the D string on the 14th. Okay, so it's now you play that you play that once through, so you've got then you go through that again, but this time at the end you hit the D string on the 14th twice. Okay, and then the same as we played the first time. Then the last bit, the way the verse ends, you're going first finger on the G string, 12th fret, first finger on the G string, third finger, sorry, on the G string on the 14th, first finger, first finger back to the first finger on the G string on the 12th, so same as before. Then what you do to mix it up, so so far all together, you've gone. As I say, this last bit, you're going first finger on the G string 12th, then to the 14th, then to the 12th. Then what you do here to like sort of the way John sort of turns it round, sort of ends the sort of verse, verse riff, you're pulling off from the 13th to the 12th on the B string with your second to first finger. Then third finger on the G string on the 14th fret. Then you hammer on 12 to 14 on, on the same string. Okay, like that. So you pull off first string on the G string, fourteenth. Then hammer on twelve to fourteenth on the string on the G string from the twelfth to fourteenth with your first and third fingers. So okay, and that's sort of what John's doing there with the verse. 
And then basically does that, and then he goes into this funk sort of. Okay, so he's doing that. And that's again quite simple what you're doing here. If you're not used to funk scratch rhythms, hopefully this will give you an idea like sort of how to play it. Um, you're just borrowing the top three strings on the high E strings. So you're playing the, hot, the E, B and G on the 12th fret. And it sort of just matches the vocals that. Okay, and you can sort of have fun with that. You don't have to play it exactly the way John's playing it, just sort of as long as it's sort of. Okay, and it ends on that bit. So you lay your third finger across the 14th fret on the high strings that we were playing before, on the G, B, and high E strings. Okay, and then use your pinky across the B and high E strings on the 15th fret. So. Okay, so that's the introduction, that's the verse, and sort of that funky scratch rhythm. Then we'll say, well, then we go back into the main riff, and then we go into the chorus, which I'll be teaching you in the next video.